Hello, my name is Mark Sampson and in this quick video I want to show you a free eBay research tool that I've recently discovered and um, I'm quite enthusiastic about this particular tool because not only is it free but actually it gives you a lot of valuable information to help you get the best price of any auction or to decide what price to um, list any buy now listing at. So we'll just go there now to the website and here we are. The website is called getforit.com and I'll place a link for this website on the actual blog post. Now here you will see there are three tabs, namely price it, compare it and research it. But just for this video the only one that we're particularly interested in is research it. So I'm going to click on that link now. Now you do actually need to set up an account to use this particular tool but it's ever so easy and straightforward to do. Just scroll down to the bottom of the page and click start and follow the steps as instructed. I have already created an account so I'm going to log in now. Now I am or I am now logged in and um, all we need to do to uh, research a particular product is click the, e uh, the eBay research link here. Don't worry about anything else on this page you just need to uh, click on that link. Now here, now this is what I like most about this particular website is that not only can you research ebay.com which is what most of them seem to do um, which is the eBay US site but you can also research on the Australia site, the Canadian site and the United Kingdom site. Now with me being based in the United Kingdom that is the one that I'm particularly interested in. You can also search back for the last 30 days, 60 days and 90 days. Now it does actually research completed listings which is what is very useful when you are looking to decide um, how to list a product that you want to put on eBay itself. Now for the purposes of this video um, we are going to say that we've got a Monopoly board game to list so we'll do a research on that. So you type it uh, the keywords to the item that you're looking to put on eBay in that box and click search. And then it comes back and then it comes back with these search results. And the first thing that I want to point out is that although we are looking in this particular example on the UK site it still shows the currency as dollars. Now we can only assume that this is a, a website error and we'll have to assume that the dollar means pounds so we'll just talk through what these results have brought back. In the last 90 days which is what I selected here um, there have been a total of 1,193 listings that's both um, auction and buy it now 670 of those ended with a successful sale that converts to a 57% conversion rate on the auctions um, average selling price of £8 um, then on buy it now listings there was an average price of £16 which on average 4% um, of those sold on the buy it now listings uh, here we can actually see the main keywords that were used in the auction listings that um, uh, ended with a successful sale. If we scroll down here to about two thirds of the way down we'll see that the highest percentage of listings that ended with a successful sale was the word contained the word new at 24% and had an average sale price of £10.54. The, um, the keyword that created the highest average price was 3D. Um, so again you can use this to decide what keywords to put into your listing in order to try and get the best possible price for your item. This top graph I wouldn't worry too much about. It basically tells you what day of the last period you've selected up here so on this example 90 days um, and what the average sale price was for the last 90 days. So we can see here for example that on the 
um, 11th of December created the highest average sale price of £23. This is just a graphical representation of the um, sell through rate. This is just telling you what percentage of the auctions ended at what average price. So we can see here that the um, that 96% of the listings ended with a successful sale price of between £1 and £25. Now this, these last four charts are the charts that I want to bring to your attention the most. This chart will show you what the best category was that had the most successful sales so in this particular instance we can see that 80% of the successful listings um, was in the monopoly subcategory of presumably um, the main category being toys or board games or something like that 3% was in the subcategory of children's and then 5% was other board traditional games so when you come to decide what category to list your item in this chart is very useful there and then when you want to decide again on what category to put your auction on in order to determine the best price this graph is good because you can see here that again the category that determines the best final price was the monopoly um, category with the second highest was other board traditional games and the least successful with the subcategory of children's. Now these last two are the most interesting of all. We can see here that's the day of the week and what's the average price was on each day of the week. So we can see here that on Friday that's determined the highest average sale price which in this particular example was 20 uh, sorry 12 pounds and 21 pence um, and this last graph here shows what day of the week had the most number of successful listings which again by far was a Sunday so in my opinion the reason for that is because a lot of eBay sellers think that's the best day to have their auction end is a Sunday so they will have their auction end on a Sunday which is probably why we have the highest number of successful winning auctions ending on a Sunday. However if I was to list using this information here and I wanted to list my, my Monopoly board game I would have it listed in the Monopoly subcategory based on this listing. If it was a new item of course I would put the word new in the auction title because again that's created the um, most successful number of sales um, obviously I wouldn't put it, that in if it wasn't new I would have my auction end on purpose on a Friday because that is the day of the week which determined the highest price so I hope you can see how useful and powerful this tool is and if you've got any comments about this tool at all or about this video, please don't hesitate to leave a comment in the blog post below. And I wish you all the best of luck. And thanks very much for viewing my video.